Right, welcome um, to the next section, which is uh, managing Jade systems. So we've made four improvements to the management of Jade systems in 2018. Um, first of all, there's now a mechanism to create a backup from an SDS second DA, which is commit coherent. Um, we can also now run applications from a thin client connected to a single user app server, um, and that includes, um, we've also got a new app to um, load schemes with. Um, so if you're, if you're using single user app server, then you can do, um, use this app for schema loads for that. Um, thirdly, we've got um, status methods for database, uh, database reorganization. Um, so that you can programmatically see the status of a database reorg that's in progress. Um, and finally, we've got a new any file setting that modifies the field separator for OIDs in an ODBC. So, first of all, SDS secondary commit coherent backup. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, so three, basically three things I want to let you know about this one. So first of all, that there's this new method uh, on the Jade database admin class uh, that performs a, a commit coherent backup from an SDS secondary. Um, so you might, for instance, want to use that backup to create a SDS secondary RPS node. Um, and there was, there was the, the method commit backup um, that existed before, we kind of, um, we think of a commit coherent backup will be a replacement for that commit backup method. Um, next along we've got loading, oh, g'day. But commit coherent backup is an addition to commit backup. Commit backup still exists. Yes, yes, yes. And it will continue to exist. Yes, yeah. so we haven't gotten rid of um, commit backup. Um, we have also got this, uh, the commit coherent backup. Uh, we're not taking away any methods, no. Right, uh, so loading schemas from, uh, is that right? Yes, loading schemas from single user app server. Um, so this is essentially um, a solution to the problem of not being able to use uh, the JED load B to load a schema, uh, to load schema files in single user app server, because um, of course JED load B requires a wrap to be present. Um, so if you want, if you've got a single user app server and you want to load up some schema files, um, then this feature will help you do that. So first of all, two things is you can run non-GUI applications from a thin client that's connected to a single user app server. Um, and secondly, that there's a new root schema app. Uh, for loading schemas. Uh, essentially, this app does exactly the same thing as uh, JADLOAD B, uh, but it's a root scheme application. Um, and so it supports all of the command line arguments that are supported by JADLOAD B. Um, the reason, as I don't know, you might have a single user application server is uh, rather than a wrap um, and an app server is you get a, quite a performance boost um, by combining those into a single user app server. Um, right. Just on that last yep. slide, uh, how would you uh, check if there was an error? So if you don't load programmatically, how do you check if that was successful? Um, can I put that one onto Nick? <laughs> if you wait for the result, the result comes back. Cool. Just. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can still call the application, of course, yes. Yeah. Um, so, next one along is database reorganization status method. So, it's actually a pretty simple one. Um, essentially, we've got this method reorg in progress. Um, if you call that, it's just going to return a boolean, and that will tell you whether you've got a reorg currently in progress, just programmatically. Um, there's also another one, reorg is waiting for transition, um, which will return true if and only if you're in dual up mode, uh, sorry, if you're in dual update mode and you're waiting for a transition. Cool, yeah, let's see, yeah, call that, just get the, the result of like that and the return. Um, now, the last little thing with uh, this topic, a fairly short topic here, um, ODBC OID field separator. 
Um, so by default, the OID fields are separated by a period, a dot. Uh, now, there was a bit of an issue with some third-party tools were um, a little bit silly and were misinterpreting these OIDs as decimal in some cases. Um, so to kind of get around this, we do have a new any file setting. Um, so it's under Jade ODBC. Um, you can set OID field separator uh, to basically any, I believe, any punctuation character and it will replace the decimals in the OID with that punctuation instead. So for instance, an at sign. Um, just to help those third-party tools out a little bit. 